the mosh pit, you zombie hunting sleaze! Yeah! All right, guys and girls, we are back. I would imitate that guy's yeah, but it just it it just wouldn't be as good. So I'm not gonna do it. But um, yeah, we're back with this crazy game. We've got one last little bit to finish before we finish this stage. I think. And this guy is ridiculous. He's throwing letters at us. Seems like every time he yells, we're going to get hit with something. So we just kind of keep our dodge on and keep moving. A little My Chemical Romance reference going on there. But, um... Yeah, I mean, this this is... It's been a pretty good game so far. And it's one of those games where you just, like, you want to keep playing and just, like, beat it in a night. Especially the way it just transitions you into each next little area. But, um, don't think I'm quite going to be able to do that for you guys. Uh, I'm definitely going to have videos coming every day. But I don't want to let down my... Uh-oh. Alright. And one more. Alright, no big deal. I've heard that the uh, those quick time actions can be a little bit of a problem. I'm pretty sure, like, if you don't get them right, you can die from being crushed by a car. So, good luck there. Hopefully, you make it through. But um, yeah, I don't want to let down my Dragon's Dogma and Witcher Two people. So, I'm gonna this will be my last recording for today, and they'll definitely be up more up tomorrow. So. And we're definitely gonna go through and uh, handle handle this little first boss battle here, and finish off at this stage, I think. And I'll let you guys see my rating, how I did on the on the stage, and uh, that'll be it for this video. Come on, let's just open the door. Thank you. trying to get the finisher on these guys while they're laying down but I don't think it really quite works like that but it does look like oh yeah there we go maybe they just have to be knocked down maybe I can't get them when they're like originally just laying there ah uh, well Definitely meant to cut his head off, not cut the door down, but it's all good. Welcome to the big show. All right, looks like it's going to be a big sequence. Good so far. Jump through the car. All right, I guess that's it. Gotta love the sound effects. Time to get hardcore, you zombie hunting slut. I gotta say that drop cake is is pretty nice when you can get it on target and just send everybody flying. But I guess it's not really good for points, anyways, because you I guess you're kind of supposed to kill zombies in groups. But it does separate them out if you're having a tough time. My health's just a little bit low. And finish these guys off and then probably lollipop up before we go face our first rock god rock demon the rock zombie zed whatever he is Jeez, it just doesn't stop. It's all good. We made it through, no problem. Let's go ahead and make sure we are nice and healed up, and we will take this guy on. <laughs> I'm gonna crush your face! 
I'm loving this shit! See you later in the morning. Yeah! Ooh! Torturing small animals? What kind of whack job waterboards Chip and Dale? That makes Guyliner here like the most uncoolest dude ever! Welcome to the big show! Alright. We are in it for the first boss battle on stage with our disco lights and whatnot going on. Uh-oh. So it looks like there's a gap, so maybe if you try to like get in the middle of his words, you might not get hit by that. But, um... Having a little trouble getting hits in. He's dodging around, now he's like blocking with that thing. Hopefully we can handle this. Yeah, I don't think you can get to the side. I didn't quite make it back to the middle there. There we go. Got a little bit done. I think if I can probably get the timing down to dodge his little dash in, we'll have some chances to hit him and do some damage. Let me stay healed up here. I'm not sure how powerful he is. If he can hurt us too badly with a couple hits. Nick raises a good question. What dude pierces his belly button? That that is an issue. Even if you are a zombie Zed. All right, we're getting him down. Ah, still didn't make it through. I'm trying. Alright, a few more hits, a few more hits, come on! Dodge out and hit him. Finish him. Man, it's brutal, cutting him up. Juliet, <laughs> you think that hurts me? I just cheesed a little. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! All right, Juliet Starling won the first round. Zed's kind of come for a comeback on top of the speakers. Let's see what we can do here. Kind of dodge through here and not get hit by his ranged attacks. Or get hit by his ranged attacks. Alright, I think I must be doing something wrong here. Doesn't seem quite like you can jump up and hit him. And then he just jumps to another speaker. So, maybe that's it. Maybe maybe I just need to be destroying the speaker so he doesn't have anything to, uh, to jump to. Yeah, that doesn't look like they're coming back, so. We'll just run around here, bust all the speakers, and we'll probably have to kill him on the ground again or something like that. It does seem like it's a little bit easier to hit the speakers with the pom poms. So just run around with pom poms and bust up the speakers. Alright, we got a giant one. So yeah, it seems like you just cut through and then dodge out of the way when he's sending an attack down. Still get out of the way. Alright, we're getting close. Can we just finish it off? No, nope, not quite. We just got like maybe one more cut to make. Alright. Finish him. Damn it! Ooh, that was 
actually hurt a little bit! <laughs> Take this, whore! I'm gonna crush your fucking face! Eat my mo- Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Alright, this doesn't seem too different than the first part. He's a little bit faster, he's a little bit stronger, he's got another attack that you can dodge with a quick time action and we like that. So we can just finish him off here. Nope. Alright, come on. Let's get through. Don't get hit. Come on. Dodge. Duck. Dip. Dive. Dodge. However the shit goes. Let's get through. Come on. Just want to finish him off. It's so close. There it is. Mr. Morkawa. <laughs> you managed to purify one of the dark purveyors. Yes. <coughs> Look at this. Zed was only the weakest of the dark purveyors. But the other four are here, rotting the school. By now, they've probably transformed all your fellow students into undead. The school is probably filled with zombies. <coughs> Sensei! Mr. Morikawa, <gasps> Juliet, and Nick, I have faith you can stop them. All humans must die, as I must now do. Sensei, no! Don't leave! Oh, I have this for you, Juliet. <coughs> Happy birthday, Juliet. You were always my favorite pupil. Sensei! <laughs> Alright viewers, there you have it. The first stage of Lollipop Chainsaw complete. And let's see what we got. C+. So not as good. We got a bronze head that time, but that's alright. This is going to be it for this episode. I'm going to have to go mourn the death of Sensei Morikawa and play some other video games and get those up. So I will see you tomorrow with more episodes of Lollipop Chainsaw.